Coming together to play a small tournament or friendly matches face to face, fighting game locals preserve some of the spirit of arcades. In an era before Discord or online play, communities would gather at these venues. Here, they could share knowledge and play for fun or fierce competition with friends or strangers. Yeah, you could get the game on console and invite people around to play that way, which is a great way to play fighting games to this day. But there is something unique about a public space that anyone can walk into with some coins in their pocket and get involved, have fun, develop rivalries and build community. But I'm in my 30s and even in my childhood it felt like going to an arcade was a novelty rather than a place to get into a genre of games or the community around it. For me, arcade culture has always been something that seemed really cool but just didn't exist anymore, at least not where I live. I've talked before about how watching Evo inspired me to start a journey of exploration through the fighting game genre and I have made many videos about games I've tried and my beginner experience of them. Throughout this time I have seen it said again and again support your locals and I wanted to playing with friends is amazing but I don't have loads of friends that have time or desire to come around and play fighting games I find that I learn so much more from playing with someone who knows more than I do and is willing to give me advice or from trying things out with someone at or below my level who is also trying to improve with me but that's not always easy to find locals seemed like a way to capture some of that arcade experience and even better do it in a DIY way by the community for the community sadly Sadly, from my hours of searching online, I haven't been able to find a fighting game local in my area. The closest thing was a regular Smash Bros tournament which had been on hiatus for over a year since the organiser moved away. I had never played Smash or any platform fighter besides a few hours of melee at a school friend's house 20 years ago, but I kept an eye out anyway. Recently, someone from that community stepped up and organised an event. No tournament structure for this one, just an opportunity to see how how many people would turn up and gauge how feasible it might be to revive something regular. I decided it was time. I bought Smash Ultimate with a few days to go until the event and spent around a couple of hours after work that week messing with the adventure mode. You start with Kirby and move around this overworld, kind of MK1 invasion style, unlocking the rest of the roster and spirits you can choose to give you buffs in battle. I had no idea what I was doing, but very quickly I was having a lot of fun without really having to learn to play the game since the AI in adventure mode is mostly very easy. With this experience under my belt, the day finally came. I had a shower, grabbed my Switch Pro controller and headed to the venue. I got a bit lost on the way in but eventually me and a couple of guys also there for Smash walked through a door into a room of around 10 players huddled around monitors. I'm not gonna lie, it felt a bit awkward at first. I didn't know anyone and understandably people carried on with their matches rather than coming over to say hi to us latecomers. We set up the Switch and monitor that one of the guys had brought and we chatted and played. The the guys I had walked in with were cool and not bothered about my lack of smash knowledge. They gave me some tips and we played free for alls with random characters. This helped ease me in as the other two mostly concentrated on beating each other up while I figured out my controls. Over time I ended up chatting and playing with quite a few of the people there and they were all friendly and fun to play with. I was upfront about my total lack of experience and nobody minded the fact that I wasn't giving them much of a challenge. I got loads of great advice ranging from the absolute basics like how using up B is a good way for most characters to get back on the stage which massively reduced my number of unnecessary deaths to more specific advice on particular characters and what to focus on while getting my head around the game. What I learned in a few hours in a room of friendly strangers would have taken me days to figure out on my own. It's still on me to go away and put what they taught me into practice but I'm also more motivated to do so. Hopefully this successful test run will just be the start of regular events happening again and I want to be able to turn up next time and for people to see that I've gotten better. You don't need an in-person community to get the means and motivation to get better at a fighting game, but it can be a very efficient and effective way to get more of those things. I also talk to people about how I usually play traditional fighting games rather than platform fighters and it turns out some of them did too. I didn't bring my Switch because I had unlocked barely any of the Smash Ultimate roster, but I wished that I had in the end. I've got loads of random
random fighting games on there and I'm sure some people would have been up for trying some multi in between Smash sets. I think this is one of the massive advantages of the Switch and one reason that Smash Locals might be easier to set up than events for other fighting games. It seems so much easier to get a handful of people to bring a Switch than a PlayStation or PC, especially if they're coming by bus rather than driving. One of my opponents even ended up asking for advice on which traditional fighting game might be good to try and what my thoughts were on modern controls in Street Fighter 6. By turning up with an open mind towards Smash, I found other people open to finding out about the games I was into as well. I've been to one small casual local for a game that I don't even play and I got so much out of it. If you enjoy human interaction and like fighting games or are vaguely interested in trying them out and there's a local near you I would urge you to go along sometime. And if you're like me and want a local that doesn't exist in your area think about taking the initiative and setting one up. The guy who organised the event I went to had never organised anything like that before. He used to attend the regular tournaments and he missed them so he found a venue spread the word gave it a try and it turned out great one tip i have if you're nervous about being the newcomer see what you can do to help the organizer had asked people to bring various things to help with the setup and i brought an extension cord and a small speaker both of which got used as soon as i set them up after arriving i felt more comfortable there like i had justified my presence by helping out i would have been totally welcome even without bringing anything but it made me feel better and these things work better when everyone chips in however they can. Friends, if you have any, can be an extremely powerful tool for getting into and enjoying fighting games and organising or attending a local is an almost guaranteed way to make some fighting game friends.